This time on Alfie's Animal Tales. We're going to listen to a tale of another of Alfie's feathered friends. So why not sit back, relax and enjoy the tale of Mickey the Minor Bird. My school has a few friendly animals and though I've no pets of my own, if your parents or grown-ups allow it, you sometimes can take a pet home. There's a rabbit, a mouse and a gerbil and though they're all cute and quite nice, my mum starts to sneeze around rabbits. My grand's very frightened of mice. So, the pet I like most is called Mickey. He's a bird that you don't often see. And unlike a sparrow or blackbird, his home's not a hedge or a tree. No, Mickey's a little bit different. He lives in a lovely bird house. In a corner of Missy Smith's classroom, where he keeps a close eye on the mouse. Now, minor birds have a strange talent for mimicking what people say. And if you should wish to them good morning, they're likely to wish you good day. But Mickey is not a big talker, but most times he won't even try to say simple words that you tell him, like hello, good boy, and goodbye. And when we're all doing our lessons, he just sits on his perch and stays stumped. But most of the time he is looking at me, his very best chum. Whenever he sees me, he whistles. And most times he gives me a wink. Because most days I feed him his dinner and top up his water to drink. And that's why when school is not open, Mickey, he comes home with me. He whistles whilst I'm eating breakfast. And he likes to watch mum making tea. And because I can struggle with learning, I often do schoolwork at home. But at least when I'm reading or writing, with Mickey, I'm never alone. Now, Mickey, he normally stays silent. When I'm reading or doing my sums. But one day he really surprised me. When up with the answer he comes. I was saying my nine times table. And at first everything it was fine. But I just couldn't think of the answer. When it came to know. What's nine times nine? Mickey could see I was struggling and he knew just what had to be done. So he chirped in a voice very loudly. Nine times nine, of course, makes 81. I blinked because I thought I was dreaming. I could hardly believe what I'd heard. Had I really been given the answer? By what, after all's, just a bird? Until then, he'd always been silent. But now there's no shutting him up. And if there's a prize for birds talking, then Mickey would 
pick up the cup. It seems that he'd always been listening to what I'd been taught at my school. He can count all the way to a hundred. That spelling is nobody's fool. With Mickey's help, now I'm much better at reading and writing and things. And whenever I give a correct answer, Mickey's pleased and quite often he sings. And so, when I next saw my teacher, I told her what Mickey had done. And now he helps all of the children to spell and do all of their sums. Well, it's been good spending time with you. And if you want to hear more of Alfie's Animal Tales, then have a look on his YouTube channel. Or why not pay a visit to Alfie's website at www.alfiesanimaltales.com But for now, it's time for me to take Alfie for a walk. So it's goodbye from me. And it's a big thank you woof for watching from Alfie. Goodbye.